Have a game, boss. We're going to the jumbo. <laughs> Hopefully find some good bits. I'm not holding out any hope, but yeah, you never know. I don't know. Go to a couple of charity shops. Standard Saturday. Standard Saturday. Nothing too extreme. Nothing too exciting. Should be fun. at the jumble sale and now we're going well I'm gonna do a couple of charity shops nothing too strenuous <laughs> Today, obviously I'm a little bit sleepy, but the sun is just taking it out of me. Oh, so I've got a negative feedback from, I had an, an incident the other day. I accidentally swapped two parcels. Sent, basically, I sent the wrong one, I mixed two up. And one of the buyers contacted me and said, oh, I think you've made a mistake. I was like, okay, I'm so sorry. Here's a refund. I went to the other one and I sent a message saying, I think I've sent the wrong item to you. I'm so sorry. Here's a refund. Now the first person, he didn't want to send the parcel that he'd received to the other buyer. I said to him, I'd pay and everything, to do. no, he can't be bothered. I was like, okay. Then I got a nasty feedback, negative feedback from the second buyer. He ran in a rave saying, um, uh, I w he said, do not buy off this useless seller. Rude. <laughs> like it happened once. Um, I know it's annoying, and I said I'm so sorry for any inconvenience and everything, and here's a full refund. That's literally all I can do, and I've been trying to negotiate how to swap the items. But um, yeah, he said, uh, do not buy off this absolutely useless seller. Um, he sent the wrong item and made no effort to try and replace it or pick up the, uh, the item that had been delivered. Just kind of assumed, giving him a full refund and no explanation that he'd just get rid of it. And then he said, I, now I have to go and drop it off at the refuse centre off my own volition. I was like, okay, tool. Petulant. Anyway, I looked into his feedback and he's got like multiple feedback. Um, so he, he, he bought an item that he didn't like, he wanted to send it back. He left negative feedback for this one seller that said, I had to go all the way to the post office and drop it out. He's one of them. Complains at everything. So yeah, I blocked him. Okay, so I'm just in Stone, which is in Staffordshire. It's a lovely little villagey town <laughs> when you get in the centre. <laughs> and it's got a couple of charity shops, and it's, there's an event on, I think. But yeah, should be good.
Okay, last one of the day. Cats protection. So, I got home and I completely forgot to do a whole video. Um, <laughs> um, so yeah, I went to a jumble sale. I went to a couple of charity shops. Okay, so this is all the stuff that I got from the um, jumble sale. Um, usually I go to this jumble sale and it's basically like teddies and stuff that I get, but I did, got a, I did get a couple of other bits. But everything that you're about to see, I got for £10. This is a backgammon set. Backgammon set vintage backgammon set. I've sold these so many times. They used to sell quite well for about 30 odd quid but they've kind of gone down in price but this one's in really nice condition. Today was a bit of a Garfield day. I got this with the tag. I got this for Garfield. It's probably my favourite. Uh, he works. I got a Hello Kitty but it's not just any Hello Kitty. It's got the tags. It's from 1999. Like a McDonald's special thing. But it's just so called the silver, there's a blue one. And it's like the the wedding set basically. The Thunderbirds, Captain Scarlet and Stingray uh, cards. There's 66 in a the set, they're all complete. There's the other, so like a mini Garfield comforter. It's Kelly's toy, it's really soft. There's not really one up online and the comps are all over the place. A Timon with tags. Uh, this is Marks and Sparks. Weirdly, these are actually worth a little bit. Um, usually between 10 and 20 pounds. Find him anywhere. It's Ikea, but it's vintage Ikea. So, not sure about that. I got another Hello Kitty, but it's like a, an outfit one. This is Dr. Stuffing. It does work. <laughs> this one, it's an Ikea musical one. Um, the comps are all over the place, but this came with the bundle. So, all of that was 10 pounds and I'm looking at over 100 quid, so that's great. It's sealed, it costs three pound. They go for about 15. I really stupidly paid up on this. Uh, I thought it was new in box, and it was just like a rough, scruffy box. It's not, they've just kept the box and stuck everything in, uh, but I paid six pound for it. Two pound for three mini lampshades, vintage. Three pound for these, I get these all the time. I put them up for 20, they go for 15, easy peasy. Patrick Starfish with tags. 2006. Okay, I got this for 50p at the charity shop. It's a die cast. Um, Jada Green Ranger, Power Ranger. Uh, Sprayway shorts, £3. They are a medium, but still. Nice colour. They'll be pretty good to sell. Ralph Lauren, a bit large, yeah. Large Ralph Lauren swim shorts. Really nice quality. They look brand new, actually. And uh, yeah, I paid a five pound. I put them up for 20, 25. All Saints t-shirt, just a plain All Saints t-shirt. Uh, paid two pound for that. It's a two, it's a double XL. Foot joy, this is probably the most expensive thing of the day. Paid eight pound, double XL. Yeah, I think I put it up for about 39.99 and get 30 pounds. Uh, yeah, that's everything. Oh, it's on the line. Got a mug as well, 50p. Um, yeah, that's everything. Uh, a bit of a random one today. Thank you very much for stopping by and I'll see you all next time. Bye.